Welcome back to Wave of Docker. In today's video, it will be the game one and two preview of the upcoming ALDS series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Texas Rangers. Uh, I'm trying to do one take in this video. Uh, I really don't feel like going too in depth. I'm just gonna you know, feel it out and just talk. So yeah, first playoff game in Baltimore since 2014. I am so freaking excited. Game one is tomorrow at 103. Game two, 407. Game three is Tuesday, game blah, blah, blah. 2 2 1, Baltimore, Texas, Baltimore. I'm so excited. I'm going to the game on Sunday. Oh my God, me and my dad, we are going to have an awesome time. I'm super excited. But let's get into some, you know, some talking points about the series. Game one probable for the Orioles is, or not probable, confirmed, is Mr. Cobb Radish. Uh, I think he's probably the best pitcher remaining in the American League. Uh, you know, Sonny Gray's up there. Eovaldi's really good. Um, the Astros really don't have that many good pieces, good pitching pieces that compare to uh, Bradish or Gray or uh, Eovaldi. But uh, honestly, I think Bradish is the best pitcher remaining in the American League. So he's the game one starter. Grayson Rodriguez will be the game two starter. Very excited for that. And it'll probably be Dane Dunning for Texas on Saturday and Jordan Montgomery on Sunday. So we'll be Montgomery, I think, on uh, well, Tuesday, so wait, Tuesday. He played pitch Tuesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So yeah, it'll be on regular rest. So that'll be interesting. It'll probably be Eovaldi game three and Meansy or Kramer game three on Tuesday. But we'll see. I'm talking about game one and two. Um, Dunning went four scoreless against us uh, back in, I believe, May. You know, four innings of no run. Uh, Scoreless baseball is solid. Uh, he is a solid pitcher. Uh, and we have gone three and three against the Rangers this year. And they were a weird three games. Like we won the first two in that first set in Texas, and then we lost game three. And then we lost the first two in the series in Baltimore, and then we won game three. But the games that the Rangers won were much more convincing than the games the Orioles won. Like they had that like eleven to one win. They had like a five to two win. Like they were obviously this is one of the best offenses in baseball. So that when they were winning, it was convincing. When we were winning, it was just you know. A regular Orioles win, just you know, scoring early and just staying up th two or three runs the entire game. But um, that's all washed now. We're in the postseason. Uh, the Orioles very, I, I don't want to say very inexperienced. It's just, I mean, it's true, but like it doesn't feel that way. Like I'm someone who believes that I'd pref I, I wouldn't prefer it, but I'm not gonna be like, oh man, these guys haven't seen postseason baseball. I think they're gonna flounder. I think this is a very confident and just able. Orioles team, like you look at Jordan Westberg and like all of our young guys like Gunner, Adley, Grayson, like these are dogs and like they go out there and they play it's they they'll, they'll they're gonna play the game on Saturday and Sunday like it's any other game. Like they're not they're not gonna shy away from the spotlight. Like they've been in the spotlight all season. You know, the best team in the American League practically pole to pole. Like it's just, it's just been an awesome baseball team. And then we have those seasoned veterans like Kyle Gibson, Aaron Hicks, Adam Frazier. I don't I mean Jack Flaherty technically is a vet, but you I mean those guys that have seen postseason baseball like, obviously, it, it, I think it'd be a bit of an issue if none of our roster is seen postseason baseball, and that's obviously very rare. But, you know, we have the vets necessary to bring this team together and pull them up if, you know, they start to, you know, get a little antsy on the big stage. But I think this should be a phenomenal series. Um, I'd be stunned if it doesn't go to four or five games. Uh, obviously, I want it to, you know, end as quickly as possible as an Orioles fan. In favor of the Orioles, I don't want to get swept, you know. But um, I think this should be an awesome series. Very, very similar teams in terms of how they win baseball games, but very different roster construction. Like, you, you can consider the Rangers a team that was bought while the Orioles were built. You know, they have those huge contracts that they showed out to Simeon and Corey Seager. Um, but then, you know, they do have those younger guys that they've uh, brought up, uh, like uh, Hunter. Uh, I mean, Adolis Garcia, so yeah, they sort of swindled from St. Louis. So, you know, very interesting teams. Very different, though. You know, Corey Seager, uh, World Series MVP. Like, he's been here before. Uh, Eovaldi, he's been, he's been in the postseason. Like, they, they're a very experienced roster. We're uh, inexperienced in the postseason. But like I said earlier, like, I'm not – I don't feel any lack of confidence when it comes to our young bucks. Uh, just – just another game. I mean, Adley Rutschman said in the media day earlier, like, it's just getting past that first pitch, and then it's just another baseball game. So, I mean, you know, if we want to get into some stats – uh, Radish's last start against Texas was the one that he got, uh, his little, I think he got a calf injury. He was hit, uh, with a grounder back to first and he was out for like 16 days. And I mean, like I said, 12 and seven sub like 280 ERA. He's been one of the best pitchers in all of baseball this year. And I have, I have full faith that he's going to spin a gem on Saturday. 
Grayson, uh, he had a few blow-up starts uh, prior to his uh, getting sent down to the Norfolk, and one of those starts was giving up like eight or nine earned runs against Texas in June on the debut of the City Connects. I remember that day very vividly, but I think a few days after that, he was sent down to Norfolk, and like I said, in almost every video containing Grayson, he is a completely different pitcher since he has returned from Norfolk, and that's why he's the Game 2 starter. And like with Bradish, I have full faith that he's going to go on the mound, and with a fire in his heart, he is from Texas, so he's going to have, you know, probably some family from Texas at the game. And he's going to, I mean, that Camden crowd's going to be crazy. I'm very excited to see that atmosphere through the TV on Saturday and in person on Sunday. I can't even imagine it. But I think this team is just, I think it's built for the postseason. We are a 100-win team for a reason. This is a phenomenal ball club, and I think that we're going to fare very well against this Rangers team. Their bullpen has their weakness, so if we can score early, and get Montgomery, Dunning, Heaney, Yavaldi, whoever they throw out there on the mound. If we can get them out early, I think we have a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs and limiting this explosive Texas offense. Um, so yeah, and that's all I gotta say. Let's fucking go O's. I'm, oh, I'm so excited for this game tomorrow. Let's go. Go O's. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.